ABC Central Coast and local band, The Little Quirks, Florence's Town. It's 18 to 8. Good morning. And as we said, a cooler day today, 28 for a top and maybe a southerly to blow that smoke away. Joining us a couple of, of local lads who are uh, on a, a bit of a mission to help men and, and help us with our mental health. Local Craig Ball is a veteran who's lost a lot of mates to suicide over the years. And if this story does raise issues for you, uh, Lifeline is always there, 13 11 14 or uh, 000 in, in life-threatening situations. Uh, Craig realised that he needed to do something for his own health as well and, and studied psychology at uni and sort of got a bit of an idea. He started up the Central Coast Men's Walk and Talk and joins me along with one of the regular walkers, Tony Burke. Good morning, Tony. Good morning, Craig. Hi, Scott. Thanks so much for having us on. G'day, Scott. This is a beauty, um, isn't it? This sounds like um, the, all the things that do work, they're really simple. Was that how it came about? I mean, how did you design this? Did you have a look at what worked and, and thought maybe this could too? Yeah, very much. Um, a number of factors came into putting it together, but um, a bit like how Tony came to the walk, uh, my uh, my wife encouraged me to do it. She said, look, you've got to do something up here. And we've come up in August from Penrith, so it's very nice to be considered a local already. I consider that to be quite lovely. But in Penrith, they have the biggest one in the state. And um, I learned a lot from those guys, but I also learned a lot from uh, basic internet marketing stuff I've been studying forever. And so I launched it online with a series of videos and um, posted it all over Facebook. And it's we have a Facebook page, and it's that's been really part of the growth, I think, in a lot of ways. And how does it work? Is the simplicity the key? Oh, 100%. I've pretty much copied the model of how that they do it in Penrith. They do it on a Thursday night. Seven o'clock start in summer. They change. We're just about to change the time this week to six o'clock. It'll be walking this week from six. Um, Tony raised one about when in the dead of winter we might make it a little earlier again, which a really good idea. Um, but we we I run a couple of posts a week. A post to prove that we you know got a great turnout, which we always do. And then what's a, a the video. site called? The site's called. Um, it's on the Facebook page. It's Central Coast Men's Walk and Talk. Yeah, so just facebook.com forward slash. Easy does it. Yeah, Tony yeah. Burke is one of the walkers. Why did you decide to take part, Tony? It was actually my wife who uh, who spotted <laughs> it on This Facebook. is a reoccurring theme, isn't it? <laughs> it is very much. And it's, it's funny. Are they trying to tell us something? I think so. I think so. <laughs> They're always trying to tell us something. It's always good. <laughs> um, yeah, there's so many guys who I've spoken to there who who their wives have actually tagged them in because it's it's – you know, I guess as guys, sometimes we, we just fan through social media and, and only pick what we want to, but uh, but sometimes we miss some of the most important things. So my wife, uh, she, she was nice enough to actually tag me in it. Um, not long, actually, I think it was even before you started uh, the walk. So it, the word was out there fairly early in the piece. Um, and then we, uh, yeah, I... I think I missed the first one. Sorry, Craig. Uh, but <laughs> you always apologise when you miss them, but it's, there's no apologies necessary. Yeah, and it's probably show one up the, when you can, and uh, yeah, yeah. But I, you, um, she saw you um, really under a lot of stress, didn't she? Was that one of the, the catalysts? That's right. So I, I like many other guys, have suffered uh, from mental health uh, issues for, for several years. So um, you know, this is you know. I, like most guys, we always try and put one foot forward and uh, and keep moving. Um, so you know, this is this is another step for me is is, is improving my mental health to get out mm-hmm. there, walk with these guys, talk with these guys. It's great fitness. It's uh, it's it's great conversation. Uh, all the guys get along incredibly well, mm. um, and and you can literally talk to anyone there. Mm. It's uh, fourteen to eight. ABC Central Coast Central Coast Men's Walk and Talk it is a men's health. And mental health initiative. Uh, the work is on. The walk is on each Thursday night. Uh, does it? Is it a moving feast, Craig, or do you um, go to the same places? We go to the same places. We meet at Saturday Street end of the Tuggerong Pathway, and we walk down to March Street. The path you may listeners may be aware that the path is actually extending, but if we turn around at March Street where it currently ends, it gives us five k's total walking. And it's it's not fast, but it's that's it's a decent a walk, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good crack. And, and for a lot of uh, blokes, I'm not saying you're old, but you know, the footy injuries and things, the, the, the bung knees, steps and hills and things, um, often take take you out of the action, don't you? This is a pretty nice uh, pathway around a, a, a foreshore. 
Yeah, and it's beautiful too. I, one of the reasons we picked the Tuggerong pathway is the view is just incredible, especially when we start getting some lovely sunsets and stuff. And so I thought if, if the guys aren't going to start talking straight away, that sunset will relax them a little bit, a beautiful view. And um, I'm going to I'm going to push these guys to start talking if they don't. But thankfully, I didn't have to. They were really, they're really great, proactive guys. And even when we get new guys, you can tell sometimes new guys show and they're a little bit unsure. And we're handshakes, welcoming. You know, everything's everybody's welcome. There's no judgment, and it's a um, it's a very friendly environment. How, how many? Our biggest turnout so far was 22. A few, That's a lot, isn't it? A few it? weeks back. But we've been, our very first event was, was eight, and we've just been growing ever since. And Tony, what has it meant to you? Is it, has it created some changes for you in, in, a, in a positive way? Do you know the important thing I, I, I take from it is that I'm not on my own. I'm not alone. When it comes to mental health, um, a lot of guys do feel very isolated. They don't feel as though... You know, you feel like you're suffering yourself. Um, but having a chat to, to so many other guys and realising that it, it's it's right through the community right now. Um, but to, to meet up as a group has is, is just been so valuable. And I mean, as you were saying before, if if you're unable to even walk the five kilometres, there's several benches along the pathway. It's, it's so accommodating. Mm. And everyone, uh, you know, some of the older guys who, who do find it hard to walk um, – they sit down on a bench, and when we return from the opposite direction, they jump back in and continue walking with us, and it's it's so inclusive. And, Craig, is it hard for ex-military who have that really tight bond, like, uh, you know, all the time you've got that family around you, uh, the camaraderie, the, the it's all about personality too in, in the military, isn't it? You've got to get on with each other, and I, I think you'd get pretty pretty tight together. When you leave that, is that when some of the mental health issues start to really um, surface? Or, or Almost grow? definitely. I couldn't, I couldn't agree more with, with those comments. And you're doing a lot of stuff too. You are. I mean, you're action. And, and this is yeah. doing and talking, isn't it? And you're doing and talking in the military. 100%. And one of the things that I struggled with very much when I left was loss of community. I really struggled hard with it. And um, it's been like coming up here, not knowing many people. My father's not far away, thankfully. But um, yeah, it, it, that was a challenge for me too. So for everything I'm doing for others, it's also feeding back to supporting me. But we do also have some veterans along and we welcome, I'm trying to reach out to get more veterans along, but we are, we're all men, everybody's equal. Mm. And it's, it's just been incredible. You know who we need to get along. And, and the older veterans are telling me this, not that you're old, but you know, you're an Afghan. It's very um, kind. Afghan war. <laughs> well, you're not, you know whippersnapper but um the, the serving veteran as well the serving military people um, aren't reaching out because they don't want to be drummed out do they 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 you know and they're doing it really tough but there are a lot of them here as well it's like a pressure cooker for them i certainly know from having my time is that you're really gripping it up and then when you do get out it's like oh, now what do i do and mm. there are a lot of issues and problems can come up as a result. So it's it's really important to start your process because everyone's got a time limit in the military. Everyone They may not have set a date to get out yet, but they know that it's going to come a time where they can't keep maintaining this. So mm. doing something like this now is vitally important. And I've been reaching out. I've had some great um, feedback from the community. I've been reaching out to some of the RSLs, and I'm looking to um, expand further mm. into some of the service provision that we do. Would you have liked to have had this to offer to your mates who you've lost? Well, most definitely. Yeah, if I had, if I could have one day back with them, I would have said, "Look, you know, come and join us on the walk." Yeah, hundred percent. Do you reckon it could have helped? It's very hard to say because um, I'm no expert, but from what I've read and heard, it's it's very hard to say. You, I'm first to concede we're not going to save everyone, but we will save some, and those some that we save can make all the difference to this community, their families, their own lives, and the people that they care about. All right. Well, all we have to do is turn up. It's one of those very easy things. Um, Craig Ball, founder of Central Coast Men's Walk and Talk and Walk at, and Talk at Tony Burke. Uh, Lifeline's always there, of course, too, for people 13, 11, 14. And just to get on to you guys, you just go to the uh, Central Coast Men's Walk and Talk Facebook page and and then turn up. Well, you don't even have to go to the Facebook. You can just go to um, Tugrawong. Um, Just show at, up yeah. at Saturday Street. We'll be happy to see everyone and at Saturday Street at what time? Uh, six p.m. We meet earlier. We do get together a little bit earlier, but six p.m. tonight. It'll be a really nice night tonight. 
That'd be beautiful. Look at that weather we've been having. Yeah, just lovely. And look, if people have mobility issues, they'd still get around there, wouldn't they? If you're in a chair or, or on a three-wheel bike or something, you could still 100%. just potter along next to the walkers. It's a great pathway. It is, mm. it's, it's very easy to, to you know, mm. access from anywhere. I had a gentleman reach out to me say he had a stroke. I move, he said, I've got a stroke. I move slowly. Go, we'll, we'll find someone to walk with you or we'll walk with you ourselves. We don't mind. Yeah. Or you can just have it, sit and talk with someone on a bench and then pick it up on the way back. There's, the, there's always the option for that. There's always mm. someone who will stay around and talk to you and we, we want to make it totally inclusive. If you can't walk, you can still come along mm. great stuff guys it's a, a really great initiative i just think it's such a simple concept but it it, it isn't mm. if you know what i mean 100%. <laughs> thanks for coming in pleasure thank you so thank much you. for having us scott craig ball founder of central coast men's walk and talk and uh, walker tony